So welcome to the Night Hacking interviews at the Ordev conference. My name's Stephen Chin, and I'm joined here with Clara Ward and Joel, what's your last name? Borgren Frank in Swedish. But People yes, okay. usually say I, I, Borgren Frank. I cannot Frank. pronounce that. <laughs> we'll go with Joel. Um, both of whom are from the Stockholm office here in Sweden. So tell me, tell me a little bit about what you guys do in your day jobs. Um, obviously hacking on Java stuff, but... Yeah, hacking on Java stuff, and for me in particular, it's the Java Mission Control uh, GUI client that I do. Cool. And Joel? Um, so I work in what we call the Langtos team. So I work on the Java C compiler um, a little bit. I sort of help I do a tiny bit of spec work. Uh, and I, or I help out with spec work. And I also do core reflection. OK, so you get to work on all the nitty gritty JVM internal stuff. Uh, very close to the JVM, uh, but, but not, not really the VM side. But I sit very close to the GC team in Stockholm. They sort of have, they have uh, adopted me, so I always go to lunch with them. Cool. So you're close enough, you can throw Nerf weapons yes, at them? Yes, I, we occasionally <laughs> throw stuff at each other. So I remember when I was when I was visiting the office, I think I think you guys of all the because I, I travel a lot, so I could see lots of Oracle offices. I think you had the best coffee of any <laughs> Oracle office. Yeah, I think we do. Even though I don't drink coffee, but unfortunately the coffee machine is out on repairs now. So, but we also oh, have the wow. best uh, ice cream, uh, cookies, and free sodas. Oh, I, I did not try the sample right. of the ice cream you when I was out last back. time, so I need to come back and try that out. <laughs> There's a really good ice cream shop next to the office, and we sort of, there is a march down to the ice cream shop uh, on, on sunny days, and they give us free ice cream when they close. Nice. So what are you guys doing at the Ordev conference this week? Um, I think a tutorial yesterday? Yeah, we had a tutorial or workshop, so we... Uh, teach some people about lambdas and about mission control. Yeah. Yep. OK. And how, how are, the, how are this the, um, the level of the attendees? Did they impress you with their, their ability to follow through and make all of the lab goodness happen? Uh, it was quite varying uh, how much they knew. I guess some of them were sort of new to Java, and that's why they went, and others knew all about Java and just wanted to learn Lambda. So it was quite a <laughs> challenge for us to vary the levels when we went around helping them. Cool. In, in general, um, the ones that, that knew Java really well, they sort of, um, they had a really easy time um, understanding Lambdas and, and um, did exercises really quick. So that was impressive. OK. And then you probably spent a lot of time helping the other people kind of catch up and pick up the exercises. Um, yeah, I know Stuart and, and Simon do a really good Lambdas lab as well, um, where they have a bunch of exercises, unit tests. Yeah, that's the one we stole, or we, oh, okay. we got permission that's, to that's steal That's a good it, one. So, yeah. That's yeah. a good one to steal. Yeah, <laughs> Stuart helped us out with, with providing his excellent exercises. Yeah, they're, they're very well done. Um, so what's your experience with, um, personally, with, with using some of the Java 8 features? How do you think they came out? For me, I'm still on Java 7 because that's what we use for implementing uh, mission control for various reasons. So I'm really yeah, looking forward we're, we're not to, supposed to We're not supposed to tell sometime. people we haven't upgraded fully to Java 8. <laughs> <laughs> now I've done that, yeah. But uh, I'm really looking forward to using Lambdas and all the other great features. Actually, I'm in a, in a somewhat similar situation because the Java C compiler is built on Java. And when we compile Java 8, we You're need to run Java on, 7. Right. <laughs> uh, but on the other hand, when I do working core reflection, I can use Java 8 features. So we lose, I use lambdas there. And, and I think it came out really well. Uh, cool. Helps in testing. Um, I mostly do tests, or I do a lot of test development since when we do fixes, we need to provide tests, of course. Yeah, so the unit test suites can be Java, uh, yeah. Java 8 based. Yeah, and uh, it came out really well. Nice, nice. And I think it's, it's good to kind of, you know, what do they say, eat your own dog food when you're working on features because you, you figure out what some of the corner cases or things before 
other folks discover it for you. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so anything else from Java 8? Or should we move to Java 9? We can move to Java 9 or Java 9. future projects. Yeah, so what sort, of, what sort of interesting future projects are you, are you working on? So I know, I know Brian, is, he's all about the value types. Yes, we have, um, it's actually quite, quite interesting because we have a bunch of proposals uh, on the JEP site that you can look at. So there is value types that, that um, Brian and others in my team work on. I'm not directly involved in that, but I, I, I mean, I work on the same compiler, so um, I have to... Um, uh, I have to understand it at least at, at, at some level. And then there is something I think is really interesting is um, uh, generic specialization for, for primitives. That is um, an effort that we have started. Yeah, no, that's, that's actually interesting. I was chatting with John Rose and Brian about that at Java One. Um, and for a while I've used the, the Scala specialization stuff, which is nice, but it code generates a whole pile of classes and stuff underneath the covers to, to give you the primitive support. And doing it inside of the, the JVM, you can hopefully do a much cleaner yeah. job of that. I mean, we control the class file format, and they have to work with what, with what we give them. So we have an obvious advantage there. Yeah, so for anybody who doesn't know what this is, maybe you or I should explain in more <laughs> detail what specialization is. Why don't you take a stab at it? OK. Uh, when you do generics, you, have a, uh, you can have a list of objects. You can have a list of, of maps. You can have a list of strings. But you can't have a list of lowercase ints. And actually, that was one of the things that, that tripped people up in the uh, Lambda Lab we did yesterday, when you have to go between what we call the, the world of primitives to the world of objects, it gets a little tricky and it sometimes it's not that clean. So we're trying, we, there is an effort, a research effort underway to see how we can unify this so you can have a map of int, lowercase ints, for example, or not, not a map, but a list of lowercase ints or a map from lowercase ints to strings. Um, yeah, and then that avoids the boxing and unboxing issues you normally have. Um, yes going through the primitive wrappers. Yep. Yeah, so if you look at a lot of the, um, the core libraries, like, um, for example, the um, um, property support in JavaFX, to get around the issue of boxing and unboxing on properties, they actually have manually written out all of the different permutations for all the primitive classes. So if they had the new specialization support, they wouldn't have needed to do that. They could have gone through with a lot fewer classes. Yeah, that's, that's our hope, to, to be able to move in that direction and make it easy to use and, and unified. Cool, so that's exciting. What, what, are you, what are you excited about for future Java releases, anything? Well, for me, it's not so much about Java 9, because we're, we're doing our, our thing on the side. So for future releases for JDK 9, we're working on uh, uh, automatic analysis of flight recordings. So, uh, you know, on oh. the, the first uh, overview page, you will see some recommendations, possibly, of what we think went wrong. It's really tricky, but we think we can have some good rule sets to help you. Okay, so hopefully, Java 9 will bring even better recording support. Yep. And Are I, there core I, changes required for that? Uh, not for that, but uh, we're also hoping for the supported API for writing uh, custom JFR events, so you can write your own and not just depend on the stuff that's in the JDK. Cool. Um, anything else you're excited about, y'all, for future Java releases? So it sounds like specialization is what you're working on. I'm excited about a lot of the stuff, uh, <laughs> but I mean, it's sort of my, it's, uh, it's, it's the fun part of the job, being able to do, evolve the Java language and our tools, yeah. and, and one thing that I think is, might be proposed for nine, I'm not sure yet, is the REPL. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I think there's a JEP for that as well. It's a, there's a JEP for that. It it's, might not be targeted yet, but I think it might be targeted to nine. 
Yeah, no, that, that should be good. I mean, most scripting languages have a REPL. Um, and you can use, I forget which is, there's some Java-based scripting REPL yeah. available, but it'd be nice to actually have support built into the core Java libraries for that. Yeah. Actually, you can use the Nashorn REPL since they can oh. bind to Java, so <laughs> you can almost write Java in the Nashorn REPL, but having your own Java REPL would, or... Um, yeah, that would be a lot cleaner. Yeah. Cool. Um, so the other thing we wanted to talk about was some possible promotion of the Stockholm office. <laughs> oh, but we already mentioned the coffee, the ice cream, and the uh, so. Yeah. So if somebody was interested in in working for Oracle Stockholm, how does that how does that happen? Well, they got in contact with one of us, for instance, and come for an interview. And we have a lot of different groups represented there. So there's the mission control team and the flight recorder team that works on the JVM. And then there's the Langtools team, AKA Joel at the moment. And Andreas, a colleague of mine. Oh, yeah, okay. And we have a lot of VM developers. Mm, the majority of the GC team is located in Stockholm. Uh, yep. And we have um, compiler Nassar guys. was also a project which was mainly developed at the yes. Stockholm office. Yes, with, with Marcus Lagergren and Attila yeah. in Stockholm, yeah. Lots of smart people there. And now we also have the, the main release manager, Matthias, <laughs> and the vice president product manager. So there's yeah, a lot yeah, of power Henrik's in the out office. out as well, yes. A lot of power and lots happening. No, I'd say it's, a, it's well, good coffee, good ice cream, as I found out, <laughs> and some, some interesting people to work with. Yep. Yeah, so if you're interested in, in moving Java forward or work on, on the world's foremost uh, virtual machine, then um, get in touch with us. Cool. All right, well, thank you both for the interview. Um, and we're going to be streaming live interviews here from Ordev all through the rest of this week, today, tomorrow, and Friday. So join us on nighthacking.com to watch the live stream. And you can tweet at um, hashtag nighthacking. And those tweets will show up on the Night Hacking website. So thank you guys very much. Thank, thank you. you.